Hi, Jay. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. I was wondering if I could ask you another question today. Absolutely. What's your question today? I want to learn about the different transmission types. Oh, come on. The first transmission type I want to talk to you about is the old school, uh, steel school, if you want to say that, manual, true manual transmission. Um, a true manual transmission means is that you literally have to come to a complete stop to change directions. So you have to have a clutch, you have to have a range, high, low, medium, you have to have a gear selection, one, two, three, and a reverse. So if I'm going forward, I have to push the clutch in, change to reverse, let the clutch out to go backwards. So the clutch is the tricky part because it is a two-stage clutch so you have to push it in, stop the tractor, mash the brake to stop the tractor. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on into a manual transmission. However, the great thing about a manual transmission is, is once you put it in the gear and the range that you want, that's the speed you're gonna go. It doesn't change, it doesn't vary in speed. So if you wanna go slow, you put it in low range, first gear and you're going one point mile an hour. If you wanna go fast, you put it in high range, third, fourth gear, and you're going 11, 12, 15 miles an hour. It doesn't vary in that speed. Okay, and how would I know if this one is like a good fit for me? Is it based on like what jobs I'm wanting to do, my experience level? Yes and yes. <laughs> um, so this tractor here uh, is not gonna be for the average Joe and being able to drive a tractor. You've gotta understand the clutch. So if you can drive a clutch in a car, you can drive a clutch in a tractor. A clutch is a clutch. You also have to be a little more aware of uh, how it is to, to, what you want to do with the tractor, how it is to drive the tractor. What's the operation you want to do with it? Um, do you need it to be fast or you need it to be slow? So you have to know those things. All right, so another thing about a manual transmission is generally the braking system. So in a tractor braking system, you generally have a double brake pedal, a left pedal and a right pedal. So the left pedal controls the left tire the right pedal controls the right tire. So 99% of the time, you want both of them locked together. So when you mash it, you come to a stop. But when you're in a, a say you're bush hogging uh, and you want to turn quickly to the left, you can release the pedals, mash your left brake, and that will hold that tire steady and it will turn you around faster. Uh, so that is an advantage to a manual transmission. Uh, and that is an advantage to have, be able to control your left and right right tire so maybe as someone without a lot of experience driving a tractor would there be a better option than the manual yes uh so that would be for a hydrostatic transmission that's what we'd want to look at so let's walk over here so a hydrostatic transmission um let's let me back up for a manual transmission you have gears and it's it's putting the gears to gears, and that's what's steady. With a hydrostatic, you're pushing fluid through holes in the transmission. So you, uh, the more fluid you can push, the more the tractor can do, fast or strong or pull or push. So that's what you need to understand. So with a hydrostatic transmission, what you have to do, the only thing you have to do is you have to select the gear range, high, low, medium gear, so if I want to go fast, I go to high. If I want to go slow, I go to low. And then you have a pedal with an arrow on it. Uh, we are, have a two pedal system in Coyote. Uh, so you mash this pedal forward and the further down you mash it to a degree, the faster you will go in that range to a point. So, um, and then when you want to stop or you want to change, range, or change directions, you just let off the pedal and because the fluid is not long, no longer going through the hole, it slows down and almost comes to a complete stop. And then you can mash reverse and go in reverse. But you don't have to be to a complete stop. Whereas with the manual transmission, complete stop because you're going from one gear to another gear. If you're not careful, you'll grind gears uh, in, in a manual transmission. So this transmission here is a little more forgiving as far as forward and backwards. 90% of the time on a hydrostatic transmission, you only have the one brake pedal, and that is a park brake pedal. So it's not designed to, uh, to flip to the left or to the right. So when you want to stop, you mash this, 
And when you want to put the tractor in park, you actually set that pedal to a position that will hold this tractor in place. Is there another transmission option available? Yes, there's one more transmission option. It's called shuttle shift. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, so the, the transmission that is the in-between transmission is called a shuttle shift. So if you remember back to the manual transmission, you had to pick a range and a gear, all right? And a hydrostatic, you had to pick a range and a gear. And a shuttle shift, you have to pick a range and a gear, okay? With the shuttle shift transmission, what is great about that is uh, you able to go forward and backwards by just pushing the clutch in and pulling the lever. So let's say you're going forward in low range first gear, real slow, you're real slow, and you want to go backwards. You just push the clutch in and pull the lever back. And the lever is as small as this on the steering wheel. So you push it in, go forward, pull it back to go reverse. And all you have to do is mash the clutch to do that. So once you started, you can go. Now, there are some options as you get into the bigger tractors that have hydraulic shuttle shift transmissions, which you don't even have to mash the clutch in. You can go forward and backwards without doing that. So in a field situation, this is great for say like a hay farmer who's going up to pick up a round bale of hay. And let's say he goes in and picks up the round bale of hay, pushes the clutch in, pulls the lever back, and he's going back. And then the next time he's using the tractor, he's raking hay. And he needs to be able to rake hay at a certain miles per hour uh, so he can set his tractor to the speed and range he wants and, and not have to worry about mashing a pedal the whole time for hydrostatic. So it is the crossover uh, a lot of farmers slash people who use it back and forth situations, front end loader sometime, uh, pulling a tractor, uh, pulling a piece of equipment sometimes, it's a great transmission. Also with the shuttle shift transmission, it goes back to the double brake style. So you have a brake pedal for the left, the brake pedal for the right. Uh, and in agricultural situations, uh, planting grain or doing hay or, or, you know, you can spin around faster by doing that. So. Uh, the shuttle shift does offer that option. Most people, the first thing they ask me uh, is which transmission gives the most problems or has the biggest uh, maintenance cost to repair or replace. So uh, in a transmission, the great thing about a Coyote is, is you have a six year warranty. So the transmission is basically covered in some aspect for six years. So that's an awesome feature. The second thing I'm gonna tell you is, is that uh, a clutch is generally going to be a, a 500 to a thousand hour replacement transmission hydrostatic transmission is going to be something 500 to a thousand hours before you have an issue maybe the average person puts 20 to 50 hours a year so you're talking 10 to 20 years before you're going to have to worry about an issue also i want you to understand is that either way you have to split the tractor in half to do a clutch or to do transmission work so it is really six and one, half a dozen the other, whichever way you want to go uh, as far as the tractor is concerned. But you need to be the most comfortable with it 